Unit 32 Conditions for Induced Currents to Appear. In the previous unit, we have known that we can use magnets to create induced currents in a coil in different conditions. Sometimes using the permanent magnet, sometimes using the electromagnet, sometimes using the magnet stand still, sometimes letting the magnet move. The appearance of induced current doesn't depend on the type of magnet or its status of motion. So, what is the general condition for the for the induced current to appear? The change of the number of magnetic field lines through the cross-sectional area of the coil. We have known that there is magnetic field around a magnet wherever it is the permanent magnet or electromagnet. Scientists suggest that it is the magnetic field that creates the induced current in the closed current. We cannot observe a magnetic field with our naked eyes, but we have known that the magnetic field is expressed by magnetic field lines. So consider the above experiments to see if the number of magnetic field lines pass through the cross-sectional area S in the coil changes or not. Figure 32.1 shows a closed coil placed perpendicular to the surface of a horizontal wooden piece on the top of it a paper with magnetic field lines of a magnet is placed. Observe to see how magnetic field lines passing through the cross-sectional area S of the coil changes increases or decreases in the following cases. Bring the magnet close to the coil in the direction perpendicular to the cross-sectional area S of the coil. Put in stationary magnet in the coil. Take the magnet away from the coil in the direction perpendicular to the cross-sectional area S of the coil. Let the magnet lie still and make the coil move close to the magnet. Hmm. Comment 1. When bringing a pole of the magnet 
close to or away from the end of a coil. The number of magnetic field lines passing through the cross-sectional area S of the coil increases or decreases varies. Page 88. Comment. Comment 2. Induced current appears in the closed coil placed in the magnetic field of a magnet when the number of magnetic field lines passing through the cross-sectional area S of the coil changes. Apply the above comment to explain why in the experiment as shown in figure 31.3 <coughs> the induced current appears in the coil when closing or disconnecting the circuit of the electric magnet. Conclusion In any cases, when the number of magnetic field lines through the cross-sectional area S of a coil varies, the induced current appears in the coil. <clears throat> Page 89. Apply the results you have just got to explain why the bulb of the bicycle is bright when we rotate the knob of the dynamo. Explain why the induced current appears in the conductor when we let the magnet rotate as on in figure 31.4. The condition for the induced current to appear in a coil is the number of magnetic field lines passing through the cross-sectional area S of that coil changes. You may not know. In physics, people defined that the, the magnetic flux is the quantity proportional to the number of magnetic field lines passing through the cross-sectional area S of a coil <coughs> follow in previously selected density. There are many ways to change the magnetic flux through the cross-sectional area S of a coil. For example, make the magnetic field stronger or weaker in the position where the coil is placed. Let the coil rotate in the magnetic field of the magnet or vice versa. Change the cross-sectional area S of the coil using the concept of magnetic flux. We can state the conclusion of the unit as follow. The induced current 
appears when there is the change of magnetic flux passing through the cross-sectional area S of a closed conductor.